Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. And today I have for you a special treat. Very special. We're playing Dead by Daylight, of course, because you can tell by the game. And in this video, I'm actually going to play Dead by Daylight with no sound at all. Yes, you heard me. No sound at all. I thought it was going to be a good challenge because Dead by Daylight is a game where you have to listen for heartbeats, skill checks, stuff like that. And it's like, you know what? I want to, can I escape with no sound? So right here you see me turning the volume all the way down to zero. Both the main and the menu music. Because I didn't know if anyone affected the other in game. So I just turned them both down just to make sure. Went back again to double check to make sure it's safe. So I'm going to commentate through the whole match about what happened. Because when I was recording audio, things were going on and I couldn't talk during the match. So I just went on and recorded the gameplay. And I'm just going to talk over it and tell you exactly what happened. If you like the video, do me a favor. Subscribe. We're going to do more here all the time. And leave a like. Let me know that you watched it. And be a part of the Data Army. Love to see new faces. For everybody who's already subscribed, thank you so much. And we'll continue to grow and more and more things will happen. If you want to skip the next 30 seconds, you can. I forget. The, uh, I was in a lobby and I went to go get some food because my food was done. I was like, crap, let me just go put it up somewhere and I'll just come get it after the match is over. And I'll eat it then. So we got like 10 seconds left. We want to skip ahead. Like I said, go, go ahead and do so. And... With this video, I did not know what to expect. I forgot to change my perks and check my add-ons with my offering because I did. I thought I was already preset. I thought I said all that and I knew what I was going into because my game plan was to rush generators. Rush them as fast as possible because the longer I stay in this game, the, the higher the chance was for me to just die or alpha back. And depending on what kill I had, if I had the Legion... Myers, somebody's quick on their feet. I, I was like, you know, it's no getting out for me. Haven't played this, really just touched this game too much in a while because I went away for like three months or so and I forgot how to 360, all the other stuff. But looping is, I would say, it's pretty easy. This game really does cater to survivors a lot and killers, they, they get the short end of the straw. As you can see in this match, I thought I was going to be playing for hours and hours and hours trying to get a win in because it's like, crap, I suck at this game. But kid you not, this was my only game I played today. And if it was the way to show you guys that, like uh, match history or something like that, I will show you. This is the only game I played today and I had no prior knowledge I was going to do this or anything. Here we go. We got a. Auto Haven map, it's a gas haven. And like I said, find the generator, rush as quickly as possible with another survivor. Because the faster you do it with another survivor, you know, it's easier to be. I wanted to try to find somebody, but I was like, it's a generator right in front of me. I might as well go ahead and start on it. And there got a young boy, Dwight. The baby Dwight came and helped me out. So I was like, okay, cool. We can just rush this. And I'm, I'm just scared. I'm like, a skill check it has to come soon. Really soon. Up, oh, here's the first one. Like, okay, all good. This is easy. You know, I, I see some white pop and I just immediately hit the button. I was like, oh, crap. I screwed up. Me and Dwight are dead. And for a second, I was like, uh, the killer's not coming. You know, I didn't see Dwight run. So I'm like, the killer's not coming. And what do you know? Baby Dwight just books it. <laughs> he books it. I'm like, okay, he's gone. I'm gone. I don't know what to expect. There's Wraith. I'm like, crap. I can't hear Wraith already now. What am I supposed to do? You can't see him. You can't hear him. Let's go. Try to loop him. He gets the first hit. Just drop the pallet. I'm already hurt. I'm like, crap. Yeah, drop it. Hopefully, he breaks it and I can run. He breaks it, I run. I just book it. I got dead hard. So, I still got one more hit in me. And, of course, without the sound audio, you know, you can't tell how close he is. So, I have to keep looking back because dead hard is really good when you look back. When you're running. So you can know how close the kill is. And you can see their animation when they're about to swing. So you can immediately just dead hard and get out. I didn't want to loop around that pallet. Because I didn't know if that was safe or not. So it's been a while since I played this game. So I'm like oh crap he's really close. I'm going to have to dead hard sooner than I thought. Look behind it. Get it off. And I try to go for the pallet now. But when I turn around he's really close. 
Just fast fall. Fast. Come on, man. You could have fast vaulted that. I go down. One generator's done. I'm like, okay, cool. He tried to hook me. I thought he was going out the door, but he didn't. And then I see the basement. I'm like, crap, I'm going to the basement. I'm going to the basement. This is all over. Another generator's done. But it doesn't matter because I'm in the basement. And puts me on the back hook. So I'm never getting out. When you're in the basement, depending on the killer, you never get out. You're just trapped here. I'm looking around and seeing who's all close. Maybe they can rush generators and then just get me off the hook and hopefully I can get out. At this point, I see somebody coming for me. I'm like, yes, yes, I got a chance. But I got to realize, once I get off this hook, there's a big chance he's coming for me again. A very big chance. Because now, since he does, he know he doesn't have ruin, he has to get rid of somebody very, very quickly. He gets another hit on the survivor, and I'm like, okay, he's not close at all. So I got a chance to get away and get the hell off. You can see her. She's trying to come and heal me. But, you know, I, I'm fine. I got self-care. You can just go ahead and finish generators, and I'll be fine. At this point, you know, I try to hide somewhere and I thought to myself, maybe he'll go for the Kate. I think that was Kate, but maybe he'll go for her because they split up. And as you can see clearly, there's the Rafe's shadow. So I'm like, I got to hide. You know, he's he, he's found me again. I got to hide. I didn't think he's seen me, but he saw me and comes right behind me. At this point, I got to run. I, I can't do anything but run. I might as well loop this pallet while I can. Well, I thought about it and I dropped. I was like, I'm already hit once. I can't afford to get hit again. I'm not even going to play with this killer because if I get hooked again, that might be the end of me. Like, somebody may not come for me the second time. Who knows? So, at this point, I'm like, okay, this I know for a fact this is safe. I can loop this. So, I go around a couple times. Go around. He, he hesitates. I'll get some more space. It's fine. We, we got this. We can loop it for three gens. Another one pops. Two generates left, Wraith. What are you going to do? Are you going to get me or are you not? Dead heart, get the valid because he was getting real close. Go straight for the killer shack. I'm, I'm like, yes, killer shack's right here. I am fine. And I thought about saving this pallet, but once I stopped there, because I didn't know which way it was going. If it was going to go to this one or that one, I had to stop for a second. Keep going around. And I grew it. In. I dropped the pallet really quickly, actually, because at this point, I didn't know if I can loop again and I didn't want to waste that heart. I really didn't. I wanted to save for a, you know, a real close moment. Again, I hesitate. I didn't know which way it was going to go. Somehow by a miracle make it through with a slow vault. And I'm like, he should have got me. He he definitely should have got me right there. No dead heart. I don't think I can do is look for another pallet. Because he really wants me. And there you go, another generator. I'm like, am I actually gonna survive this? I find a pallet. And I'm like, you know, screw you, Wraith. And what do you know happens? Bam. He disconnects. To a David who can't hear a thing. I already can't see. Because you're Wraith. And now I can't hear you. And when I tell you. I laughed so hard after this. I forgot I was even recording. I laughed so hard because. I, I don't know. What makes this game. Like some killers. Are they all bad? I, I know all killers aren't bad. But I just thought. you know He had a chance of getting me. I can't hear you. At all. So you can sneak up on me pretty easily. But somehow you didn't. Man. I th This game sometimes. Sometimes you get killers who bo who are very boosted. Sometimes you get killers who are really good. I even completed a challenge on him. I mean I was kind of close to completing it anyway. But completed a challenge. This, this game right here is something else people. When I tell you it's funny. Fun. Sometimes you can just have a blast with this game. I I love it. And sometimes you got to hate it. This is the nature of the beast. Like I said earlier, if you like the video, please subscribe. I'll be doing more here. And, you know, it, it, it's just an interactive stream. If you want to play with me sometimes, can. I don't do the whole live stream on Twitch or whatever. I should. But YouTube is my platform. And I really like it a lot. Thank you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.